Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft. I'm sick of this. Okay, I have to do something about this. They're just so plain. So I think today is the day that I paint my Robbie's craft corner sign. That way you can actually read it. Only then will it truly be my craft corner. Awning. I made it myself, you see. If you guys want to see how I made it, uh, I actually put a video up on my Robbie Vlogs channel. You can click right here to watch it. But in the meantime, we're going to be painting these letters. It looks pretty good. Let's start painting. Woo! Job well done painting, I'd say. Well, you guys, now it's time for the best part, where I uh, where I hang these up. Okay, now I just gotta do the rest of them. <laughs> okay, that is a lot better. And now that we got that done, let's do what we do every day, and that is trying some five minute crafts. nails was nice, but I think it's time to remove them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them soak in some soapy water. Moments later. Okay, it's been like five minutes. Put that off to the side, cut up our lemon, and then apparently we just kinda scrub our nails with this lemon. Yeah? Doesn't seem to be wanting to come off. Uh, maybe with a peel? Uh, yeah, this isn't really working. <laughs> The nail polish is very much still there. I'm not sure what to do about this. Well guys, it looks like I'm stuck like this forever. And I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Intern, stop! No, don't go! Intern! Intern! No! Intern, stop! No! Stop! Before... Look, listen to me. Before you go, put on a jacket. But Robbie, it's 100 degrees out. I don't want you to get cold, okay? Just put on your jacket. I guess it's a free jacket. so freaking long. I just can't get it on. Intern, do you not know how to put on a parka? I'm from Florida, we don't wear these. <laughs> that explains everything. I have the perfect tack for you. I'm gonna do it with my jacket so you understand how to do it, okay? So you just go, whoa! Wow, it's that easy, Robbie? Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right. Whoa. That's so cool. Thanks for the free jacket, mate. No problem. Wait, 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 enter and enter and enter. One more thing. Huh. Will you be in my outro? Really? Yeah, come on, let's go. Come on. Okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video. We regret the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so now I'm gonna be honest here. The reason there's no thumbnail here is uh, because this is actually one video that I made into two parts because I didn't want it to be super long. So, instead of recreating one of their thumbnails, I'm gonna make my own. So, I noticed you guys really like it when I compare really big things to really small things. So, I thought I'd do that with Nutella. Now, I managed to find this little guy online, and it is perfect. It is like a little Nutella jar. Uh, so, I think I'm gonna use that for part one of our thumbnail. And there we go. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. Um, now, the problem is, I wanted to buy a giant Nutella bottle, like six pounds. And I've seen them on the internet, but unfortunately, they stopped making them like two years ago. So, uh, what I think I'm gonna have to do instead is go to the Nutella factory over on the strip. So, uh, let's go do that. Ah, so close, but so far. Dang. Well, guys, I guess we tried. I might have to Photoshop it or something. We'll figure it out. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, that didn't work. So close, yet so far. So after I drove all the way to the Nutella factory to find out that I can't even touch the dang things. I went to Sam's Club to see if I could find any big Nutella jars, and, uh, 
No luck with that either. So what I ended up doing is I bought this giant thing of animal crackers. And uh, I guess it's kind of the same shape. Um, so I guess I'm gonna have to Photoshop a giant Nutella thing in my hands. Now I guess this is close enough. If anyone knows where I can get one, uh, please tell me, okay? I will I will personally thank you if someone can find me a giant freaking Nutella jar. I need it, okay? For science! Okay, anyway, let's recreate this thumbnail. Okay, so here we go. I really hope this works. One, two, and... Yeah, that should work. Okay, so the moment of truth. Will I be able to take this makeup off with some olive oil? Let's find out. Oh, oh, oh that was way too much. Oh boy. Okay, you guys ready? Let's start with my lips, I guess. <gasps> what? what? That came off so easy. Wow. <laughs> it's coming off so so easily. <clears throat> my face feels very oily though. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this actually works. Olive oil works as makeup remover. I'm throwing these away. Guys, I would probably give this hack a seven out of 10. Uh, it works. Oh. Okay guys, so here are our staples. Take a few of these out and separate them real carefully so I don't stab myself. Maybe use a carpet cutter to separate them. There we go. Now we just rearrange them like they had it. I'm not sure how the heck they managed to do it, but apparently they just all stick together. Okay, so we rearrange it like this and then we carefully push them together. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Uh, they didn't say to use glue or anything. Apparently they should just stick together. I have a hard time believing that this is real. Ah, this is so difficult. My fingers are so big. You can do it. Guys, I can't seem to get them to stick together. I don't know what the heck they did, but I, I can, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I just can't manage to do it. I've been doing this for like 10 minutes and it's no avail. Just no avail. I was gonna give this to Tori for all those mean pranks I gave to her, but <laughs> I guess it'll never work. Okay guys, so I got my cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and prop it up. Now I don't really know the science behind this, but for some reason I trust it. So apparently there's some paradox where if you get a cutting board and you start pouring orange juice, at the end of it, it'll float back up and you, you can pour it in your cup. I personally don't think this is gonna work. In fact, this is just complete disregard for physics. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna do it for the craft. I don't have any orange juice, all I have is this cranberry juice. It's gonna have to do. In case this does work, I got my cup right here. You guys ready? One, two, Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's getting everywhere, it's getting everywhere! Wow! I feel completely lied to! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Also, I had to clean my cutting board, because this smells a little rank. <laughs> Okay guys, so it seems like I've gotten myself quite into a pickle, but uh, at least I have this knife. I'm just wondering, who the heck could this be? It's obviously someone who has a grudge against me. Uh, it could be my mom, my dad, I don't really know, but it could be anyone. Oh my god, guys, I feel in a really eerie presence. I think he's close. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, oh, it's just my fog machine. Oh my god, oh my gosh. But anyway, I think he's still close. I can, I'm feeling his presence from this knife. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Guys, oh my gosh. Is that comedy genius Bo Burnham and his uh, Netflix special Inside? This person, whoever it is, is truly a person of taste. Well, guys, I don't think that they know that I'm here, so while I have the upper hand, I might as well try and prank them. Bo! Oh. You've been pranked! <laughs> wow! I really scared him. Well, guys, it looks like this one actually works. <laughs> well, okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail! Woo! Wait, this is a part two. I already remade the thumbnail. What am I gonna do? I have an idea. What if for this thumbnail, I do a giant Coke bottle? That would be fun. Well guys, I guess it's time to go to the Coca-Cola store. Hey guys, so we're in the Coca-Cola store in Las Vegas and there are so much Coke products here. It's amazing. And I'm gonna use this guy right here because I can't find a giant uh, Coke bottle. Wish me luck. Guys, this is perfect. A little Coke bottle. I think I can use that. Oh, 
yes, a perfect life hack. So the first thing about this one is the pencil cannot be sharp. And I made it unsharpened earlier. So then, oh God, it's not open. I should have opened this nail file. Tools, tools, I need tools. Dart should do nicely. Okay, now I have to quickly sharpen my pencil. Ah! Oh no, it keeps dulling itself. I have to do it more sideways. Oh, my arm is so tired at this point, guys. Okay, is this usable? Oh God, it works! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. It only took about uh, five minutes. Okay, on to the next one. Here's our cup. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these pencils. Oh, yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. Then we go over here and just put the slime. Oh God, oh, I messed up already. Oh, oh no. Just, oh. Oh God, oh, here we are. everywhere. This looks good. Let's try it out on Tori. 12 seconds later. Tori Dabransky. Hello. Hey, so you know how I've been pranking you and uh, you know, I have just done such horrible things to you. What? I got you this cup of pencils. <laughs> oh. I don't want this. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I really do not want this. <laughs> well, you can have it. I don't really want this, Robbie. This is kind of gross. Look at it. You're gonna tell me this isn't gross? What? It's just a little bit of slime. <laughs> See? Oh, Anna, it's gross. No, Tori, it's good for your I, complexion. I don't, I don't want it. It's good for your skin. I don't want it. I don't want this on me. This is so gross. Ew. Here. I like it. It's all yours. You've been pranked. I guess we could say that this one works. So gross. All these pens are gonna have like slime permanently on them. I'll see you later. I got it. I'll drink from my pool. Good thing I always carry my blue disposable cup. Okay, time for me to drink up. Oh, guys, look how much dirt is in my water. Oh, that's disgusting. I need to find a way to filter this. Okay, guys, so I got my water bottle, and I managed to find this tampon in the trash. It doesn't look like it was used, so I think I'm in luck. Then we just take our craft knife and cut this part off. And then we simply flip it back into itself, just like that. And then we insert the tampon. I don't know how this is gonna work, because it... Ah! Okay, what if I make a hole in this cap? And I put the cap back on, and then we insert the tampon right in there. Oh no. Oh yes, it's perfect. Now the tampon should just filter all the water. So now we take our dirty water and just pour it right in there. And then we'll have ourselves some fresh, clean water. It's already starting to drip. Oh my God, it already looks so clear. Add some more. Yes, yes, there's almost enough for me to drink. I'm just gonna open this right up. I don't know if I can wait any longer. Well, bottoms up. Oh my gosh. It tastes so fresh. It doesn't taste like pool water at all. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Just kidding guys, if you didn't catch my sarcasm, that water does not taste fresh at all. I don't know if I'd really trust this one. So for the sake of this, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say don't do this. I don't think it, I don't think it actually works. I'm sorry. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail, woo! So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this exactly. Uh, here's our light bulb. And they did kind of a video like this uh, where they just use pliers to get the stuff out. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Um, I really hope that I don't break it and hurt myself. Let's see if we can do it, ready? How would I get this off? This is way harder than you would think it would be. Okay, uh, one second. I'm gonna look online to see how to do this. Okay, so I just watched the video on how they did it and it looks like they just kind of tap this out. But they were also wearing gloves, so unfortunately I don't have any gloves, uh, but I do have this rag, so maybe that'll help. I really hope it does, because I don't want this thing cutting up my hand. Okay, so like this, and they just kind of... Oh, I think it moved a little bit. It never actually shows it coming out either. Like... This feels so dangerous. Maybe my saw will work to get it off. Come on. Oh my goodness. I think it'll happen eventually, but it's definitely gonna take a little bit of time. Okay, let's keep trying this, guys. I'm gonna be real careful when I do this so I don't cut myself. This thing is so hard to hold on to. I really need to invest in some gloves, probably. Oh, almost there. 
Ah, uh, something happened. Look, just twist off. This has honestly been way more difficult than I thought it would have been. Oh. I think I might need to like drill a hole going down into there. Uh, so I'm gonna go get my drill set. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's hope that this actually works and I don't hurt myself. That's probably the more important part. Guys, don't do this at home. This is super dumb and I don't recommend it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, and... Okay, we got this thing out. Well, I mean, kind of. Uh, I think it's like this because it's like LED or something. Okay, I'm just gonna drill some more. Maybe if I get a bigger drill bit, maybe that'll work. Okay, here we go. And I broke the light bulb. <gasps> Maybe I can just like, hmm, dang. This whole thing has been so dangerous. Maybe I can get away with it if I just fill this up with Coke uh, through this hole. I don't know, let's try it. Okay, so one other thing I did notice is that there's a little label on this thumbnail. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the plastic label off of this and I'm gonna put it on the light bulb. Okay, cut that off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Put that on there, just like that. Eh, that looks okay. Turn a little bit off. Yeah, uh, that looks close enough, I guess. There we go. Now we got our nice white background. Fill this light bulb up with Coke now. Here we go. Be real careful. Okay, let's do this before it leaks. And yeah, I think that'll do it. Okay, so I just realized I actually forgot to put the top on it, so I gotta redo it. Here we go. Okay, ah, maybe this time? Okay guys, so here's our solo cup. Then we take our screw, and we simply make a hole. Ah, right there. Yes, that hole is perfection. Then we get our hanger and just rip the hook right off. Or you could twist it off. I don't care. It's your life. Do whatever you want. I don't think this ever actually comes out. So it looks like I'm gonna have to take this into my own hands. There we go. And we have ourselves a hook. Then we just stick it right in our cup. Boom! We have a hook for a hand. Arg! Yes! Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say, this is pretty cool, but then you have to make the whole rest of the pirate costume. I don't know if this really adds that much to it. I'm gonna have to say that this kind of sucks. Anyway, that's my conclusion. It sucks. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video. We, we grab the thumbnail! Woo! So first thing we're gonna need is the background. Here we go. Yeah, I think pink would look really nice. Not bad. Then we get our cup. And then they used rainbow sprinkles for theirs, but I think I'm gonna use blue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up with blue sprinkles. And here's another jar. Yeah, that ought to do it. And we get our ice cream. Here we go. And aha, that should do it. simple. Maybe even a little too simple. First you grab your jacket. This is a tie-dye jacket that I got when I was in Florida. Thanks a bunch, salty dog, for having a pink and blue tie-dye sweater. Go ahead and put the arm inside the little pocket. Then tie the two arms together. Pretty simple. Put the knot inside the pocket so you don't see it. Shove the hood inside of itself. Tighten that bad boy up. And now we have ourselves a backpack. What kind of fun things can I put in this backpack? I got it. And put some drills. Good, yes. Maybe some shoes. Hey, okay, let's see how comfortable this backpack is. Coming from one, two, three, go. I expect nothing less than perfection. Oh, wow, what a stylish backpack. I truly think that this backpack is superior to any other backpack. I might as well throw this one away. Don't need that anymore, because this is the only backpack I need. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay, I think most of the time for this one is gonna be me waiting for the hot glue to dry. Um, so, you know, we just go in and just fill this eraser with hot glue so that we can replace the old eraser, you see. We don't need this dumb old useful eraser that can erase my mistakes on paper but not the ones that I've made in my life. 
Man, I have so many regrets. Okay, so I actually have to spin it so that the glue doesn't fall off the pencil. I'm breaking out my fan. Oh! Cool off, cool off, cool off. I need something to put this in. Um, um, uh. I think this tape might do. Yes, oh God, oh God, okay, okay. Yes, no, oh, it's stuck to the fan. Okay, pause on this one. I'm gonna go work on the next one. Let's go. Okay, we're almost about 10 minutes in. I'm making good time. I'm at about one and a half. Uh, we're gonna make it two, cause this time we're making a compass. I think this is a compass, right? We're making a compass out of two pencils. We're gonna make perfect circles with our pencils. Oh God. So we just take our rubber bands and just put them around our pencils. Just keep them the same size. Here we go, you ready for a perfect circle? I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Okay, you ready? Stick this one right in the middle. Here we go. I just have to say, this is definitely not a perfect circle. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I think it needs more rubber bands. Okay, ready? We're gonna try it again. Oh my gosh. It does not like this. Oh, I got it. I'll twist the paper. Yes! Uh, now that is how you make a perfect circle. Well, guys, guess what I'm gonna say? That this one kind of works. On to the next one. Woo! Okay, guys, that was Aaron's favorite part of the video where we reveal the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so this one, uh, this one's actually an original thumbnail. That's why there was nothing there. So I actually got this giant blow pop a while ago, and I was like, hey, this would make a freaking fantastic thumbnail. And uh, we're gonna compare it to this little one. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's see the first one. This is the little one. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now we're just gonna uh, switch our background really quick. Give it a little bit of contrast. And let's try it with our big one. Yeah, that ought to do it. Perfect, that ought to do it. Oh. <laughs> okay guys, so here's our egg, and I have to somehow get the yolk out of this thing. I'm gonna try doing it very carefully. I'm gonna put a cup underneath, and then with the thumbtack, make a small hole. There we go. Then we just empty out the egg. Mm, very good, save this for later. Turn it out a little bit. And as per the video, I have to draw a little face on my finger. I think I'm gonna choose this one. Very kawaii, let's go for a kawaii face. There we go. That looks perfect. I love it. I'm just gonna just pop right out. Guys, I'm just giving them the bird and it just hatched, okay? Okay guys, so I'm actually looking all over for uh, the scary ghost man. And uh, he's nowhere to be seen. He's not in the living room watching comedy genius Bo Burnham. They're not here in the kitchen eating their uh, Jack in the Box that they just left here for some reason. <gasps> that could be another clue. Where could they be? Hello? Hello, where are you? Oh my God, I think I scared them. Let's check my pantry. Gosh, there you are. What are you doing in there? Are you scared? Did I scare you that bad? Yes, I'm so scared. I'm just eating my onion. You're just eating your onion? Here, no, come on, come out here. I, I have something to show you. I promise, I promise I won't scare you again. You're not gonna prank me again? No, I won't prank you again, I, I promise. I'm sca I'm so sorry that I pranked you and I scared you like that. Yeah, pinky promise. You want me to pinky promise? <laughs> if that's what it takes. You got a deal. Thank you for turning my onion. <laughs> oh yes, come here, Mr. Scareman. So uh, I have a fun thing for you. Are you ready? Here's a little egg. Oh. Isn't it so cute? It's so small. You, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God, it's, it's hatching. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, it's all yours. You can have it. I want you to have this. I'm, I'm a mother. I'm giving you the bird. Ah, uh, you are? I gave you the bird the whole time! You've been pranked! <laughs> You've been pranked! That's so mean. How could you do that? Wait, you're going back in the closet? Don't no, come back! Hey, no! Stop! Now, whoever this is really likes the pantry. Could that be another clue? Okay guys, it looks like I'm gonna be putting some band-aids on my ears. We got two different sizes here. We got a small one and a big one. Try the small one first. Oh uh, yes, I can't wait to become a magical elf. We're just gonna, you know. Oh uh, yes, it looks great. I'm just a magical elf, guys. Can't you see? Hair down, not magical creature. Hair up, magical creature. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I guess we're gonna have to say if this one works. This 
one is pretty uh, simple dimple, you know what I'm saying? So we just get our glove, we get some water, and just put it in the glove. Lime in the coconut. <laughs> Tie that off. Ooh, do I leave enough room for me to even tie this off? Oh gosh, there we go. Yes, slime in the coconut and you shake it all up. Hi, nice to meet you. It's like shaking hands with raw chicken. Anyway, let's try this out on the bench. I'm sure he's gonna love it. Okay, we'll try it out on Thomas first. No. No, Thomas, come back. Come on, I'm just trying to put this rubber glove on you, buddy. I'm just trying to put a rubber glove filled with water. Come on, a water glove. There you go. I don't think he likes it. Thomas, let me put this hand on you. So you feel like you're always being pet. Do you like that? Do you like the sensation of being pet with a water-filled glove? Hey, Benj, how you doing? How do you feel about this glove? Yeah, do you like it? Here, I'm gonna pet you with it. No, come on. Benj, come on. I'm just trying to pet you with this water-filled sack of a glove. He's like, I'm ready for a walk. You ready? Is it good? Oh, no, it fell. Ben, stop. I'm trying to comfort you. Okay, we'll try this again. Yes. You feel relaxed, Thomas Dabransky? Is it good? Shortly after I tried to take the thumbnail photo, Thomas Dabransky pushed this off. So, well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. If you guys know it's ever part of the video where we regret the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need uh, what looks to be an iPhone. So I actually bought the newest iPhone 11. Uh, just so you guys know it's real and not bad. It's pretty good. There's the three cameras. It's like, I don't know. I'm just not an iPhone guy. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it in half. I'm not sure what method I should use for this. Um, hmm. I'm thinking maybe this saw? Yeah. I think this should do. Or maybe should I use this one? I think this one might be a little overkill, but it has a finer edge, so I think it might work a little better. So I'm actually gonna use this one. Okay, so here's my clamp. Here's our iPhone. Just gonna pull this down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I'm thinking maybe the other side actually. That's a little better. Okay. I hope this doesn't break the screen. Well, what does it matter? If it cracks the screen, it cracks the screen. I'm gonna be cutting the freaking iPhone in half anyway. What's it matter? Am I right? Anyway, come on. Oh. This is proving to be a little harder than I thought. Okay, here we go. Let's do this, guys. Ready? One, two. Also, I wanna tell you guys, don't try this at home. There's a chance this might explode. I have a fire extinguisher on the wall in case it does, so. Okay, well, it looks like we're not using a clamp. <laughs> My mouse is just like bouncing up and down. Okay, we made a little bit of progress. Not bad. I'm gonna take a bathroom break really quick. Please don't explode while I'm gone. Okay, we're back. Let's try this again. I got another clamp. Yeah. That ought to hold it. There we go. That's not going anywhere. Ready? One, two, and... Ooh, it really doesn't want to cut in half. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Well, let's keep going. We are through! Holy crud! Wow! Weird. That's what the inside of an iPhone looks like. Anyway, I'm really glad that didn't explode. Yeah, that's pretty good. Anyway, guys, let's recreate the thumbnail. Okay, guys, and uh, here we go. Hey guys, remember how I said at the beginning of the video I would donate a thousand dollars for every ten thousand likes you guys give me? Well, I got impatient. I didn't want to wait for this video to be posted, and okay, I'm gonna do it. And there. It's done! It's been a really great year for me, and I just really wanted to get back, and I wanted to thank you guys all for getting me to the point where I can donate 15,000 trees. You guys are all amazing. I love you guys all so much. But please still like the video. <laughs>Okay guys, let's see if this trick will open my bottle of Coca-Cola. We just go ahead and break out our shoelace, and then we wrap it around, and apparently we just squeeze it. Or did she pull it off? I think it might work if I pull it off. Ah! Ah! It doesn't want to come off. What the heck am I doing wrong? Okay, try this again. What if I twist it like this, and then pull? Guys, it doesn't want to work. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. We go ahead and lay out the towel. There we go. And then we lay out the snacks. These are Benj's favorite snacks. Then we're just gonna go ahead and roll it up real carefully. Okay. Cool. Now let's call in the Benj. Oh, Benj! some snacks. Come here, my boy. Hey, Benj, you excited? I got some snacks in here for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Look, look. Unroll, see? Oh, look at these snacks. Unroll, buddy. Come on. Oh, he's doing it. Good job. Just gotta keep on rolling it, buddy. Oh, he's doing it. What a smart guy. Benj. Wow. Wow. Keep going. 
You like it? Look how smart this guy is. So smart. His brain is getting wrinklier by the day. Yeah, hey guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, so here's our balloon. Now apparently we just fill it with hot glue. I feel like this is very dangerous, so if you're gonna attempt this, uh, be very careful. And I already ran out of hot glue. Fill it up with hot glue. I feel like this is gonna melt the balloon because, ah, this hot glue is so hot. I'm gonna use pliers to actually hold it because I don't wanna hold this balloon. Oh, I think I can smell the rubber melting from the balloon. Ah! How the heck am I gonna fill an entire balloon? This has used three glue sticks already. Okay, that looks pretty filled with hot glue. Now I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit and then I'll put my foot on it. Now that it's cooled down, I just have to step on it. And... It's like popping out of the side. Not sure how well this is really gonna work. And I got this one. It's, it's like popping out. Okay, now I guess I let these cool down for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> these look kind of uh, weird. So now that these are cooled down, I'm gonna have to take off the balloon. And I'm also gonna have to cut off these little uh, long parts. I really didn't mean to keep those on there. Boop, boop. And then the balloon should come off really easily. There we go. I mean, uh, they're not the same size, but that's fine. Then we get my shoes, put these bad boys in there. Okay, let's try them on. So before I try them out, I'm actually gonna mark my height on the wall. Uh, that way I can tell whether it actually made me taller or not. So I'm about this tall. It's a little bit crooked, but you know what? It'll do. Boopity boop. I mean, it's not very comfortable so far, but let's try the other one on. Yeah, they're definitely not very comfortable. Like it's it's digging into my foot, but let's see if it made me any taller. Here we go. Oh, I, I can already tell I'm a little bit taller. And, oh! Well guys, it looks like it actually made me about an inch taller. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. It looks like I am uh, gluing acrylic nails to my teeth now. Great, I'm gonna need smaller ones. Just gonna cut these down a little bit. And then they didn't say to do this, but I'm gonna get some Fix-A-Dent. This is for your dentures, and I'm just gonna stick it right on my acrylic nail. It's sad because I've tried uh, vampire teeth before and I just couldn't get them to stick. Ah, yes. Ah, aha. Ah, ha, 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 ah. Oh uh, yeah, I want to suck your blood, ha ha ha. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one, oh no, it's falling out. Oh no, okay, oh no, okay. Yeah, this one doesn't work. <laughs> okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we regret the thumbnail, woo! So I actually went out and got some of these Lego molds. I already melted some chocolate and we're just gonna go ahead and pour that in there. There we go, I'll do another one just in case this one doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and let that cool down and then I'll pop them out of the mold. Okay, here it is. Hopefully it's cooled off enough to where I can take it out and it won't break. Come on, just gotta be really careful. And, and we're good. It actually came out, cool. Let's see if this one came out okay. Yeah, this one turned out okay too. Not bad. Okay, yeah, that should do it. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, I live in freaking Nevada, so that means we don't actually have trees that can hold me. So instead, I got my trampoline frame here. Uh, the trampoline mat actually broke because it's so freaking hot outside, and then springs would just fly off, and it would like, eh. one almost hit the window, and that's when I was like, I, I have to take this thing down. It's a, it's, a, it's a death trap. So my plan is just to hang the hammock from one side onto the other, and hopefully this thing will hold me. So <laughs> that's what we're about to do. Hey, now 
I gotta take these off. I think this rope should do fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this one. Perfect. Okay, now this side, through the hole, and then through the other hole, and then that should be, yeah. That's two half inches, I think. Okay, now to put our hammock. Now, I don't have a really colorful blanket that I think will hold me, so I'm just gonna use my real hammock for this. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> it's rainbow, isn't this cool? I'm gonna laugh so hard if this already fits. And I could have totally just tied it straight to the... Wow, I wasted my time. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna retie it then. Tie it on this side, tie it on this side. Wow, it freaking fits. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready to try this? I feel like this is a really dangerous way to hang up a hammock. Oh my gosh. I feel like, I think I'm already gonna go to the ground. You ready? And I'm currently on the ground. <laughs> but I think I'll fit in the hammock when it is up. So that's good. So my goal is I'm gonna put these higher up on this pole. But in order to do that, I don't want the legs to break out that way. So I have to put a rope from here to here to hold it to counterbalance it. And I think that might work. I feel like just to be safe, I should read Reinforce all these crossbar things. So that's what I'm gonna do. You guys ready to see if this convoluted thing is gonna work? Uh, me too. <laughs> Here we go. Oh no. Ready? <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Whoa, it's actually holding me. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I have to take this freaking thumbnail already. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video. Where are we? Get the thumbnail! Woo! Okay guys, so here are our hot dogs. Now I need to cut it down to finger size. Let's see, uh, yeah, about that long ought to do it. Ha! Thanks, Axe! And then we carefully insert the skewer. And then I simply replace it with one of my fingers. How the heck am I supposed to do this? Oh, I skewered my finger. Oh my gosh, this looks so realistic. Just kidding, we have to add the ketchup blood. Oh, yes! Oh, my finger! So the whole point behind this one is I can't get them to leave, so they're pretty much my roommate now. And how do you get your roommates to move out? Just annoy the heck out of them. So I'm gonna inconvenience them with, you know, my skewered finger. And then they'll want to move out. Let's go try it on the scary man. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, scary man! Oh my god, are, are you okay? Uh, I was trying to uh, make some kebabs and I accidentally kebabbed my finger. Uh, you need me to take you to the hospital? <gasps> oh my gosh, that would be so, I was I was gonna ask you, but that's so nice you just offered. I got you. I really appreciate it, oh my god. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got you, you're my friend now. I'm your friend? <gasps> oh my gosh, Mr. Scary Man, I really appreciate you driving. Oh, no problem, that's what friends are for, Robbie. <gasps> that's what friends are for? Are we not friends? Oh my god. Well, well, Mr. Scary Man, I have a confession. You can tell me anything, Robbie. Um, Mr. Scary Man, um, you've been playing! Oh, you betrayed me! I, I never kebabbed my finger the entire time! How could you do this to me? I was here to help you! And you just keep pranking me, and we just got to the hospital. <laughs> well, Mr. Scary Man, I don't know what you want me to say. All, all I have to say is, uh, can you drive me back home? No, get out. <laughs> no, drive me back home. No. <sighs> well, guys, it looks like I'm walking home, and I'm going to have to say that this one doesn't work. I can't believe it. I'm gonna have to think of another plan to get rid of this guy. Woo! Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we record the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so they didn't actually say how the heck to make this in the video. Uh, of course, am I right? They never do. So I just went ahead and bought myself the world's most expensive pink diamond. This guy cost me a cool 10 million dollars. Yes, yes. But it was all worth it for this video. Anyway, you guys ready to recreate the thumbnail? I think just like this should do. Yeah, that ought to work. Perfect. Well, now that we're done recreating the thumbnail, guess I don't really need this guy anymore. Ooh. Yeah, that was, uh, that was okay. Cute. Okay, guys, so since I ruined the poppet, uh, trying to make this poppet Rubik's Cube, I guess I have to try and make another one. And I truly think this craft will make up for it. Okay, guys, 
guys, so what they did was it looks like they got a piece of paper and then painted on it. Instead of doing that, I'm gonna get this piece of cardboard and all this colored paper and just cut it into a strip. And then cut these bad boys into strips. And then I'm gonna need to glue these on with a glue stick. Paint and school glue, 7A. Perfect, I found it. Now I'm just gonna leave all this for the intern to clean up. Now that we got our glue stick, time to get to work. Let me go ahead and stick it right on there. Looks good. And there we go, a uh, multicolored piece of cardboard paper. Now it's time for us to cut the circles. But uh, before we do that, I'm actually going to draw circles. That way they're nice and round. Perfect little circles. I'm using this lens cap because it's just the perfect size. If you don't have a lens cap, you could probably always use like a soda can. Uh, it's basically the same thing. I'm just using the lens cap because it was the closest thing next to me. Let me go ahead and cut them out. Well, don't need these anymore. And now we fill them with the balloons. Yeah, that looks about the right shape. And a boobity boo. And now we have ourselves a giant poppet. Pop, 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 pop. It's a perfect replica of the one that I broke before. Now let's show it to the intern. Okay. Ow. Do you really not learn? Bro, why are you still behind the door? Uh, this is the only place with a wall to lean on. I guess you're right. Anyway, here's your new poppet. This isn't a poppet. Yes, it is. It's a giant poppet. See the giant pops? Oh. You dude. broke it! No. You broke my hard work! I'm trying to pop it! No, you popped them all out! Dude, more like this one doesn't work, dude. I just want to freaking pop. Wow, I can't believe it. You messed up the, the, the craft I made you. I'm just gonna rip these off and make my own poppet. What? Yeah. No. Okay. I'll figure this out. Give me one more chance. One second. Back to this bad boy. Uh, let's see if our pencil works. Here we go. A nice piece of red. Red on red action. Okay, here we go. You ready? <gasps> it instantly broke. Oh, no. I can't even sharpen it because the paper's in the way. Oh. Oh my god, okay. For the sake of this, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Wouldn't recommend it. Just get yourself a new pencil, honestly. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I don't know, stop wasting our time with this. So for this one, I'm actually gonna need this pencil to be a little bit shorter. Break out the trusty axe. There we go. Oh no! Okay, I'll try this again. One, two, and. Okay, one more time. I'm just hoping I get a clean break. One, two, and. Yes, I did it! Tiny pencil! So once we've acquired our tiny pencil, I'm gonna have to sharpen it. Okay, cool, good enough. Then I just go and roll this pencil right up. I think I have to ironically use another pencil. So I'm using the broken end to roll it up to help it stay kind of consistent. Get our glue. I'm using hot glue for the sake of the craft. And I'm just gonna cut all the extra off. There we go. Shove this bad boy in there. Oh wait, I gotta put hot glue in this bad boy. And shove our short pencil in there. Okay, now I'm gonna let this uh, cool down for a second. And then we're gonna check up on our other hot glue project. Oh, yes, this is the perfect shape. Exactly how I left it. <laughs> okay, let's test it out. Hello. Wait, I wanted to say goodbye. Oh, no. Okay, let's see if I can erase this. What a mistake. You ready? Oh, no. No! I'm gonna look so dumb now. Everyone's gonna think I'm saying hello instead of goodbye. No! Come on. If only I'd used my perfectly good eraser underneath instead of ruining this one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. On to the next one. Okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail! Woo! So here's our phone, here's our nail polish. Gonna go ahead and open that up. I really hope that this fixes my phone. Just one little dab right there. Yeah, it looks good. And then here's the rest of it. Okay. Yeah, dab some more on there. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, so we got it all over our phone. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it and see if uh, it fixed any of the cracks. Oh man, this is so messy. Oh boy. What? The cracks are still there! Ah! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Okay, this one I don't think is gonna take five minutes. In fact, I feel like it's gonna take a little bit uh, longer than that, probably 20 minutes. Um, So I'm hoping, oh man, I need bigger markers. If I use these little markers, it's gonna take me all day. But if I use these bad boys, 
take me two minutes. So here we go, guys. I'm just gonna go in and put my random colors. We got some blues. Ooh, I can do some stripes. I like these stripey ideas. Oh, yes. Some good old-fashioned stripes. Some blue stripes. I don't know how much of this you're really gonna see. They didn't say to put a primer coat over this, so I'm just not going to. But it would make this look a lot better. Oh, God. This yellow is not turning out nice. <laughs> Maybe the red? The red is turning out okay, I guess. Well, might as well keep the theme going. I feel like this green might lighten it up a little put bit. This rainbow in completely the wrong order. Anyway, we have a decorated notebook. Now we're gonna get this tape. Oh god, this is the worst part. There we go. And just putting it right over it. Then we grab our paint. This is a premium chalky paint, so it's gonna have a nice chalky finish that I'm sure will just kind of scratch off really nicely. And we're kind of in a rush here, so I'm using the big brush. Just, uh, you know, no need to have a little palette. We're only doing one color, so just uh, really squirt all of it on and then just paint it nice and consistent. Actually, I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. That was very efficient. I'm glad I used the big brush. And now I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and on to the next craft. Okay guys, so the first step is to draw out what I want Benja's name tag to look like. We're gonna make it really simple. I'm just gonna give him a heart because I just love the little stink oh. so much. That's a perfect little heart, see? Then I'll put the Benj. I'll try it again. Nope. You know what? This one's fine. I'm gonna go and cut it out. There we go. And we have a perfect little heart with the Benj's name in it. And then we're gonna break out some parchment paper. We really only need the tiniest bit, like this much. Break out our hot glue gun and just cover this bad boy right up. I'm just really laying it on thick. It's probably a little too thick because now I have to let it cool down. One hour later. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Now we have to do the back side. Moments later. And once that is cooled down, we go and take our scissors and simply cut around the heart shape. Ah, oh, perfect. Then I have to drill a hole to uh, specifications. Yes, you can still see the Benja's name. And we're gonna put his little uh, key ring right through that hole. Let's go put this on Benja's collar. Hey, Ben. Try to put on your fancy collar. You ready for a new tag? He's so excited, I can tell. Hey, we're getting all hot. What's going on? We're walking across the country. We're walking across the country. We're going right across the universe. We're running. Do you like your new tag? Do you really think Benja's better than your last tag? What do you guys think? Does he look really handsome in his new tag? So now if you ever get lost, people will know you're the bench. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Bench loves his new tag. A tire, and I'm not talking about a tire. I mean, like clothes attire. I, anyway, it's a stupid joke. Oh, okay. So they had like a stand to elevate the tire. I don't think that Ben necessarily needs to jump up into his bed. That seems kind of ridiculous. You know what? We're just gonna full send it, shove the pillow right in the middle. They didn't even like staple the material on or anything. I'm not saying it looks bad. I think it looks great, okay? This looks like a legit dog bed, and it'll probably last longer than any dog bed that Benj has ever owned because he rips all of them up. Okay, let's go get the boy. Come on in, Benj Rudy. Come on, just send me back. Come on. I got a snack in my hand. Yeah? Do you like it? Why are you scared of the bed? Come on. Yeah, come on. He's definitely working on it. Come on, Benj Rudy. Yeah. Oh, Benj. This is adorable. If you guys want me to make Benj a proper tire bed, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. I'll probably end up doing it if I get enough people telling me to. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say this one works. Hey guys, guess what? I got fluffy slippers! Ha! Ha! And I'm wearing my leggings. But unfortunately, I, I'm not that thick. So we're gonna go ahead and take our scissors and then hopefully not cut my underwear. Perfect, yes. And then we're going on the other side. I feel like this is kind of a waste of perfectly good leggings. Okay, what do you guys think? Do I look voluptuous or what? You guys can see my pizza underwear. Well guys, I don't know how I feel about this one. It's kind of a weird hack. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one does, it kinda works, I don't know. I mean, I have holes in my pants now and that's what they did, so that's what I... <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Okay guys, that was everyone's favorite part of the video where we record the thumbnail! Woo! So for this one, I think I'm just gonna try and outdo their giant Oreo. And that's why I bought Mega Stuffs. 
Okay, so I think the first step should be taking out all the cream filling out of all these guys. Oh man, this might be more difficult than I thought. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad. So I think the first step should be taking all the cream filling out of these guys, separating them, and then we're gonna put all these guys together. That's the plan. So here we go. Okay, now that we have all these laid out, it's time to put them all back together. But I have to choose two of the best Oreo cookie pieces. Honestly, they're all basically the same. Yeah, don't need these anymore. Get out of here. Now I have to stack all these on top of these two. Now to top it off, you ready? And I don't know if I can handle this one. Oh, oh. My god, what have I created? I actually thought it was gonna reach the camera, but uh, I only got about a third of the way there. That's wild. I don't even think it could stand up by itself. Oh, it can! That's cool. And there it is, guys, in all of its glory. Basically a whole pack of mega stuffed Oreos uh, just in one Oreo. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, now it's time to recreate this thumbnail. Now carefully, carefully, carefully. Perfect! And yeah, that ought to do it. Honestly, I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with this thing. I guess eat it. Uh, yummy! Yes! Are you guys ready for this? It's, it's very overpowering. Introducing the Oreo. I feel like I'm gonna get diabetes. Introducing the Oreo ultimate stuff. We got rid of those dang little cookies so you don't even have to worry about them. Now I just sell the filling. Oh my God, it's actually staying together. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Okay guys, I only have about one minute left and we're back to this craft. We're gonna find out if when I scratch this, colors are gonna be underneath. I'm really excited to find out if this works. I hope it does, cause it looked like a really fun craft. You ready? And I'm gonna write my name. <laughs> oh my, that is so cool. I need something else. Let's just bend this fork. Ugh. Here we go. The perfect writing utensil. Just write my name. This is so cool. Epic. Can I write my name in time? S A U C E. Oh God. Fixing the S. Robbie Epic Sauce. And that's time, boys. Exactly one hour. And even better, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Fully recommend it. Look how fun that is. Look, you can do like a star. Wow. You can do a peace sign. I really need to get something else. I think the screwdriver will be better. Oh, that's so much better. A little peace sign. Yes. A little happy face. My two tattoos. Yes, yes. Looks good. Oh, I can do peace, love. Oh, I did Wi-Fi instead. <laughs> Oops. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Wow, this is pretty cool. Highly recommend this one. Anyway, you did a great job, Five Minute Crafts. Oh, oh, hey intern. What's so up? apparently I'm supposed to make you this cute egg shape. Yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. I'm actually really hungry. Yeah, I can tell you're getting really cranky here. Uh, kind of being a little bit of a butthole. You locked me in your closet. That, <laughs> dude, it's a, there's literally no lock on here. You could have, you could have left any time. Well, anyway, I was gonna make you some eggs, but I actually did a whole hour and a half long video where I made a bunch of fun egg recipes that you guys can click right here. Uh, so so I don't, I don't feel like I really need to make you these, but um, I'm still hungry. There's snacks in my pantry. Go, wait, oh, perfect. Here, come on, come on, come into my pantry, intern. He says he's hungry. I'm gonna show him who's hungry. Yeah, intern, just go in there. Just go into the pantry. Oh, dude, there's tons of food in here. Hey, are you kidding me? <laughs> Bobby, let me out. Now it's time for us to make some kitty ears. We're gonna need all this stuff, put it all off to the side for a little bit. So we just get some yarn, wrap it around our hand for a good amount, and then we give it a, a little snippy snip. And then we take a brush and we just start combing it out. It should end up uh, something like this. Once you're done brushing this out, we have to make the general outline shape of the ears. Um, they only had it up for like a split second. I'm just like really just sketching out the general shape. I think it was something like this. Then I have to make an equally identical identical um, shape. You know, it's close enough. I think that'll do. Cut these guys out. And then they should neatly just fold into itself like that. And then it should just neatly uh, fold into itself just like that. Yeah, that's not really working too well. Um, okay, good, uh, 
whatever. Then we have to take some glue and just, uh, you know, glue them right onto our shape. But I really feel like this should, I don't know, maybe a staple or something? Just glue that into place. I don't know why, but it's just not sticking. So I guess I'll just uh, stick the hair on the back using this uh, this glue. Oh, dang, I forgot to make the other one. Well, I had this left over in the brush, so yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, dang, I don't have a headband, but I have these clips, uh, these barrettes. So I guess I'll just barrette these into my hair, wet glue and all. Okay, let's... Put these in my hair. Ugh. Okay, I'm so excited to look just like a kitty cat. Well guys, I definitely look like a kitty cat. It works. You ever just walk into a room and you see your friend on the floor with their phone inside of a straightener? Yeah. That's never happened to me either, actually. So this is how you make yourself a fun phone case. You get your crayons, glue them to a piece of cardboard like that, and then you get a hair dryer and let them kind of drip down. We've all done this one before. That's the best art project there ever was. Go ahead and cut those drippies out. And you cover it with some clear nail polish. And there you go. Now you got a cool phone case. So here's our cardboard. Here are our crayons. We're just going to go ahead and lay this out into a rainbow shape. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. There it is. Cool. We have all these bad boys. Then we're going to go ahead and hot glue them to this pe- Oh my god. Thank you to anyone who said bless you during this video. Now we're going to go ahead and hot glue them to this piece of cardboard. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and let the hot glue cool down. Now that's cooled down. Break out our hair dryer. And just melt this bad boy. I feel like I need to put it on something a little bit more flat. Yeah, that should be good. Prop it up just like this. Uh, Pencil sharpener's not working. Maybe a little bit of duct tape. Then use this to hold it up like that. I need to tape this to my duct tape so that it stays up. I will get this to work. Just watch. Ah, yes! And this is what it looks like from the bottom. We just got our box on top of our tape. And there's this guy. Okay, hair dryer, time to do your thing. really cool oh my gosh but it doesn't quite look like the video I'm not sure what I did wrong but dang that does look really awesome actually maybe melt a little bit more the blues not like coming out very well right here and I don't know why Okay, yeah, that turned out a lot better. I'm a lot happier with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and harden, and then uh, we'll do a little bit of snip snip. Okay, this bad boy is all cooled down. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. There we go. I mean, it's not the most clean looking. Maybe I'm gonna round out these edges a little bit. Yeah, that looks a little better. Sweet. These crayons look a little bit funky now, so I wonder if I can actually replace them with new ones. Yeah? How you guys feeling about this? Hmm. I think I need smaller crayons. Yeah. What if I just glue them right on top of them? I don't know how I'd get these out without ruining this part, because this part looks really good. Let's see. Can I do it? Just carefully break it off. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Yeah, now we just, uh, red, orange, yellow. Oh, that's my purple. Purple. Yeah. I noticed that their case didn't have the actual full crayons on there. They just kind of cut them off. And I thought that looked kind of lame. So, yeah, this is definitely a lot better. Now to glue these guys on. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Dang, that looks pretty cool, actually. I'm not upset with that. Now we just have to hot glue it to our phone. I don't have a phone case, uh, and you know what they say, YOLO, am I right? Just like that. Put it directly onto our iPhone. That's how we do it here. And carefully, carefully. We did it! Woo! That looks great! That looks awesome! And then we just cover this guy with some clear coat. Okay. I really hope that this is clear coat. It's kind of ambiguous. It doesn't tell me what it is, but, you know, I'm sure it's fine. Wow, it makes it so shiny. That's fine. Okay, awesome! I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. 
Okay, guys, so here are my pants, and they're just way too big for me. I've just lost all this weight, and now I need to make them smaller. So, in order to do that, I'm gonna put this bolt in it. Uh, instead of taking out the old button, I'm gonna go ahead and put a new hole in it. Now, a normal person would probably use scissors, but we're gonna use this drill. Boop, boop, boop. And just drill a hole in our pants. <laughs> It keeps twisting up the pants! Guys! Ah! Oh no! I lost my nut and bolt. Okay, don't worry, guys. I found it. I'm gonna keep this safe the only way I know how. Oh, Toby! Oh, hey, Robin! Hey, Toby, can you hold this for me? That's a nut! Yeah? Oh, okay. Oh. Just really get in there with the drill. Ah! Okay, guys, I decided I'm gonna give up and just use scissors. Wow, that was so incredibly easy. Why couldn't you do that, Drill? Okay, Toby, my bolt. Thanks, Toby. No problem. Go ahead and stick it in the hole. Boopity boop. And then we stick it in uh, where the button usually goes. Put our washer and then our bolt and then our nut. Yeah, that looks pretty secure to me. But will it work when I try these on? Let's find out. Whoa. Okay, these pants are actually a lot smaller than I thought. Oh gosh, I don't think these are my pants. I found these randomly. So in theory, this bolt should hold if I put it through this little hole. Boom. Oh, it's so tight. These are such tight pants now. Put our washer. And then the nut. Finally, a convenient way to button and unbutton my pants. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Oh, well, yeah, it's now time to spread part of the video where we regret the thumbnail. Woo! Okay, so here's ours. Break out our straightening iron. Let's put it like that. And then they just kind of boopity boop. Oh, maybe like up a little bit. Yes. I think like that should be good actually. Do it from this angle. Let's see, how's this look? Oh. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, yeah, something like that. I do it. Okay, guys, so as a very special bonus crap, I decided that I'm gonna show you how to make a Toby mask. A Toby mask? Yeah, Toby. A Toby mask. Woo! Now get out of here. So first you're gonna to wanna to start out with one of these inflatable tennis balls. This is uh, nine inches in diameter. You can probably find these at like a five below. They're just inflatable tennis balls. Now we're gonna use Toby as kind of like a reference for all this. First we're gonna to need to puncture it so that we can actually like make it into a ball form. So I'm just gonna pick a spot, preferably in the back. You just wanna puncture it. Boom. And just blow it up with your mouth. So once you do that, you're gonna wanna probably start with the mouth. As you can see right here, his mouth kind of starts a little bit after this crescent shape. This is important. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Then we're gonna need to cut a hole in the back where we can actually put our head. Okay, pretty good. Then we're gonna take a set of giant googly eyes and hot glue them onto his face. And there you have it, your very own Toby mask. Toby, I completely winged it. Wow! Well, let's try it on. A boobity boop. Let's see if it'll fit on my face. Oh yes, there we go. Oh, perfect. Now I am Toby. Let's see if I can do the voice. I gotta say, it's really loud in here and it kind of hurts my ears, but you know, now we're Toby. I, I really don't know how he makes his voice so high. Hello everybody, my name is Toby. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys decide to make one, uh, tag me on anything uh, so I can see it. Oh, anyway, bonus craft. <laughs> Okay guys, we have about half the time remaining. So, here we go. Grab two of our paper clips, put them together. This one in the middle. I don't know if I really need two, but, wow! Actually, this is kind of working well. There we go. Wow! And we got a perfect circle! Guess we can say that this one works! Next one. Okay guys, so you know our classic bolt button jeans. You know these uh, beautiful cutoffs that, how can you make them better? And my response to that is like everything, um, you just add a pop it to it. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, flip these bad boys over, break out our sewing kit. 
I'm just gonna start sewing this bad boy right on there. Now the other side. And there we go. Now I have a poppet on my pants. Might as well throw away my phone. This is all the entertainment I need. Friends, family, new movies, I don't need any of it. This is the only thing. The perfect pair of pants. Well, might as well try it on. Well, what do you guys think? Introducing my new and improved pants. Yeah, now I can pop my butt. <laughs> Wait, how do I unpop them? Do I just... <gasps> I just broke it off. I meant to pop them back, but I broke it off. What? I ruined my awesome new pants! How could I do this? Well guys, it was a great concept, but this one just doesn't work. It couldn't possibly work. There's no way. I failed. Guys, I failed as a crafter. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay guys, that was the first part of the video where we made the thumbnail! Woo! So they don't actually explain how to do this one, but I'm guessing you just get yourself some string and some eyelash glue. Then you just cut little pieces so it looks like you sewed your lips together. That's what I'm gonna attempt to do right now. And unfortunately, I won't really be able to talk after this, so I, I apologize. We're going in, boys. First one. One down. It's eyelash glue. I used eyelash glue to put, to, to put this on. Doesn't it look cool though? It looks cool. I think I would have fell for it more if it had blood. I would have freaked out a little bit more. I almost put blood. I should have put blood. I'm gonna go put blood. Well guys, I guess I gotta have to say that this one 100% works. And now it's time to put these bad boys together. They didn't really say how they put them together uh, in the video. Um, apparently they just kind of go on like this, but I don't really see how that would stay in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out my trusty hot glue gun and just glue this bad boy right in place. I'm gonna break out this fan end so it cools a little bit faster. Oh no, my plates. Finger. Well, you know what they say. It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a glue gun. This definitely turned out pretty cool looking. But does it work? Hey, intern. What's up? How are you enjoying those snacks? They're pretty good. Hi, Ben. How are you, Ben? Me and the Ben were just checking up on you, and uh, I wanted to show you this new marble machine that I made. Whoa, dude, actually, that's really cool. Yeah, it doesn't work very well, uh, but I, I wanted to give it to you because I figured you were really bored inside this pantry. I am, and I really appreciate it because this is really cool. So it's just like a little slide. Whoa! Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it like jumped out and then jumped onto the bottom one. That was actually really cool. Oh, dang. Here, let me try one more. You know, it's a little disappointing. <laughs> it's pretty, so that's what matters. It's art. Well, I hope you enjoy it, intern. I do. Thank you, Robbie. I'll just stare at it for the next couple hours until you decide to let me out. Sounds good. Also, this door also doesn't have a lock. Oh, so I can just leave? <laughs> Okay guys, hack number six, seven. I don't remember what hack we're on. So I just gotta get the sponge, cut a little piece of it. There we go. Oh, no, I lost it. It fell behind my desk. Okay, just cut a new one. Let me grab our hot glue gun, put it right on the edge of that. Oh, actually, I have a better idea. Take that off. We're gonna put it on the cap. You know why? Oh, you'll see in a second. Just, you know, stick that right on the tip. Ironically enough, we actually have to wait for this one to dry, but I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. Ain't nobody got time for that? Break out our dry erase board. You guys ready to see why I put it on the cap? A boobity boo. There we go, yes. Okay, oh, the pen still works perfectly. That's awesome. But does it erase? It's erasing! What? I am flabbergasted. That is amazing. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. On to the next one. <laughs> okay, guys, so 
actually here's our bot. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut off these flaps. Then we get our Christmas lights. I'm just gonna go ahead and poke a hole in the side. That way I can just shove them right in there. Then we make sure that we can spread them out a little bit. And I'm actually gonna make this shorter because I don't think it needs to be this tall. Oh yes, much better. And then we get our cling wrap and just put it right on there. Second layer, just to be safe. Boopity boop. And then they didn't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and tape up the sides to make it so that the cling wrap really stays on there tight. Yeah, that looks pretty fantastic. And now we add our sand. Fun fact, guys, I actually paid $6 for this one bag of sand. Why is sand so expensive? And there we go. We have ourselves a beautiful little light box. Now let's try it with the intern. Right, guys, so it's actually been like six hours since I made this thing. And it's kind of late now. It's like two in the morning. I'm sure the intern will really appreciate it. I'm going to wait a little bit so that we can really utilize the dark for this. There we go. I just turned it on. Now let's show the intern. Hey intern, how's it going dude? I think I fell asleep. What? Uh, it's only been a minute. You're right, it's been less than a minute according to the watch. Dang, it was like one of those naps where like you blink at So the first thing we're gonna need is to put Tora Branski's hair back because we don't want to get latex in her hair. Now we grab our liquid latex, just pour a little plate of that. Ooh, are you excited? No. And then I put all around. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Doing pretty good, there we go. Now I add some more latex. We gotta wait for like 10 minutes for this to dry. Later in the void. Now it's time to cut it open. Mm -hmm. You want you want to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you here get get into the camera. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Hey, take your top again. Hello. Oh man, we got to put this back on. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pull this back a little bit. Okay. And then I kind of want to make this match your skin color a little bit more. So, I'm going to put on some foundation. Dude, this stuff is powerful. You can't even tell it's there now. On camera, it looks great, okay? Then we go ahead and blend it in. Really just blend it in. This might take a while. There's a lot of makeup here to blend in. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, so now we get our black face paint. And then we just uh, fill her right in. Yes. Just get right, just get right in there. Ooh, yes. <laughs> looks so pretty now. Hey, hey, baby boy. Now it's time to bring in our fake blood. There we go, let's add some more fake blood. Oh! <laughs> We're just really testing the limits of this napkin, aren't we? <laughs> Good thing we got name brand napkin. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is looking pretty scary. Pretty hairy, pretty scary. I should have given this to you at first, but I forgot. There you go. Now you're wearing pink apron. <laughs> Robbie's. <laughs> Rob is the king of crafts. So the recipe actually calls for nails. So I'm gonna look through my tool uh, box really quick to see if I, ooh, here's something we can use. I like that, here, hold that. It's a good thing I have a bunch of this hardware just laying around. Okay, you ready for this? This is gonna be the scary part. So I'm gonna have to screw it in like that. I don't know if it hurts you. Please don't move. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Yeah, so one down. Looking pretty, that's looking pretty spooky already. One down, a few more to go. Okay guys, so here's our cut. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and cut our wrist straps. That side looks good. Then we flip it over and do the other side. Cut off the extra part. Wow, this watch is really coming together. Now we have to write the numbers for the watch face. Wow, it's so perfect. Then we bust a hole right in the middle, and then we grab some pipe cleaners and cut them down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and twist them together and then shove it through the hole. Looks like our arms are a little too long. Go ahead and cut one of them. Cut the other one a little bit longer. Now this is a great gift for the intern, but I've been having a lot of fun with the intern, so I don't really want him to leave. So I'm gonna set it to about an hour before he leaves. Oh uh, yes, four o'clock. Don't worry intern, it's only an hour more. Now he'll stay with me forever. What's up? Hey intern, so um, I made you this watch. I already have a watch. Well, you can take it off and put this one on. Well, I already have one. No, you can, I'll trade you watches, just. Shh, it's okay. Just okay, give me the okay. watch. I'll give it to you. I'll give, give it me to the you. watch. Thanks. Uh, so will I have it back? Cause no, this one's your cool, watch now. But it looks a little cheap, bro. I made it myself, Michael. Oh, it came off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, isn't that a snazzy watch? I like the colors on me. <laughs> I have to read it like this, though. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. <laughs> well, um, uh, are you still bored? Yeah. 
But you have a watch! <laughs> I can't even read it without going like this. Well, uh, you just sit right there, intern. I'll be right back with some entertainment. I'll be back in less than a minute. I'll, I'll keep track of ya. Sounds good. Okay, I'll see you in a, in a second. Okay, guys, time is ticking away. So I'm gonna go ahead and write some algorithms here. Wait, three plus two doesn't equal seven? Oh no, I should have learned. It's okay, we'll start over. Uh, five plus two equals seven. Oh, my handwriting is atrocious. Three plus five equals eight. Uh, two plus two equals uh, four. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little photo. Now we go into our gallery. Perfect, now we're gonna flip it over with the phone unlocked. There we go. Oh, don't mind me, this is just the back of my phone. Let's see, can I scroll to it? Oh god, where did it go? This is so weird, it looks like paper. This is so, oh, where did it go? Oh my gosh! Oh, it just opened my camera. This one so far, kind of impractical, guys. Okay, we'll try this again. You ready? Carefully. So here we go. We got five plus two equals seven. Oh my gosh, okay, oh, this saved me. I would never have known. Okay, next, three plus five equals eight. Oh my gosh, guys! I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. It looks a little bit sketchy, but I mean, if you put it like this, no one's ever gonna tell. I mean, maybe. I okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we regret the thumbnail! Woo! Actually, I, I'm not really the biggest fan of this thumbnail and if I wanted to recreate it I would have to use my sink and here. Let me show you something. Sorry guys. My bathroom is a little bit uh, under construction right now <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so if I wanted to recreate it, I feel like my sink It's just not a very appealing sink. I don't know. So I have another idea I've actually been saving this one for a while I bought this giant Kit Kat bar around Christmas and I thought it would make a really cool thumbnail But I never got around to actually using it in a video uh, So I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. Anyway, let me show you what I go through every time I set up my green screen So it starts out like this and then I just kind of go like And then we have a green screen. Isn't that fun? Now for the dangerous part. Let me get a GoPro so I can show you guys Okay, so first I gotta step up on this stool Okay. Oh my goodness. And then I attach these things right here to these hooks. Here we go. Oh. Now for the other one. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. And that's uh, what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when I'm doing it. It's kind of high up here, kind of scary. I feel like I'm gonna break my ankle one of these days. And that's what I do every time I set up my green screen. Anyway, some supplementary lighting. Woo, yeah, not looking too bad. I'm a little bright here. Okay, we're looking pretty good, but I feel like my shirt doesn't pop out enough, so we're breaking out the Mr. Beast merch. Oh, get out of here, lame Robbie merch. That's better. <laughs> okay, now let's recreate this thumbnail. So I'm thinking something like... Yeah, that ought to do. Also, I photoshopped my eyes blue because uh, I always wondered what I look like with blue eyes, and now I know. I look uh, kind of freaking weird. Woo, anyway. Okay, guys, so here's our hanger, and we're just gonna go ahead and put it right in my shirt, just like this. I made sure to use a yellow shirt just like that. I thought it would be imperative to the craft. So, then we just slide it. Ah! Just get up, okay, perfect. And there we go. We have a perfectly hung up yellow shirt. The craft didn't lie. It was 100% right. It works. Wow, I've never seen a hung up shirt before. Great job, five minute crafts. Okay guys, so here's our piece of paper that we're gonna be using for the night light. And the first thing I need to do is come up with a stencil design to put in the night light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this pink piece of paper and just write out the intern's name. Actually, I forget what the intern's name is, so I'm just gonna put intern. Perfect, I think you'll love this. Then I get some tape and just tape it right on there. That way it doesn't move while I'm poking holes in it. Start poking the holes. One eternity later. Oh man, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? You know, this looks pretty good, but I think I'm also gonna add a couple little stars. This is a nightlight after all. The intern needs to see stars at night, you see. Boobity boop, boobity boop. Okay, you guys ready to see how it turned out? Carefully remove this. Oh, wow. 
You guys can't really see it. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yes. The intern. Guys, I need fairy lights for this one, but I totally forgot it was in the last craft. Hey, dude, how you doing? Light. Yeah, uh, I need to borrow that. Why? Dude, uh, this is like my only source of light right now. Dude, I need it you, for, um, sand look, everywhere. Look, I'll make you another night light, okay? The Just clean up the sand where I leave. Okay. Okay. Here, here. Bye, Robbie. Bye, Robbie. <laughs> Bye, Robbie. <laughs> Well, at least I got the light. 12 seconds later. Now that I got the lights out of this thing, you can use this as a litter box if you want. I got the light out of it. I'm not a cat. Anyway, thanks a bunch. Light! Where am I supposed to aim? Okay, guys, and now we're gonna insert this into our cup. Then we grab some fairy lights and shove those inside of our stencil. And there we go! What a fantastic... Night light. You can't really even read and turn on it. Oh, I'm gonna try turning off the lights. How's that? You can't even read and turn on it. What a rip off. Well, it's good enough for the intern, so might as well give it to him still, am I right? How long have I been in here? <laughs> Check your watch. I mean, something's up, but it hasn't even been a minute. I know. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yeah, so you know how you said you were like depressed or whatever because you didn't have light? Yeah. Well, I made you this night light out of that light I stole from you. So. <laughs> Whoa! It says intern on it. Thank you so much. No problem, dude. Well, enjoy your darkness. No, Robbie, come back. I'm so bored. Come on. Okay, guys, that was everyone's favorite part of the video where we record the thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what the heck this is supposed to be, or how they made it, or photoshopped it, or whatever that is. But I think I can replicate it with some gelatin and a giant Easter egg. There we go. Put it like that. Or I could do it like this. Now it stays up by itself. Perfect. I'm gonna mix it in this one first, though. Or maybe, you know, I don't know. Let's put this off to the side for now. We boil some hot water. Turn that on. And now we wait. And boop it boop. Now that that's done boiling. Ow! Ooh, that's hot. Apparently we mix one half cup of cold water for every one half cup of hot water. Yes, yes. Oh, got it in there. Then we gotta break out the Mixatron 5000. <laughs> Looks good. And we add our hot water. I think I may have made it a little too throffy. <laughs> I hope the bubbles pop. I kind of want to do one in this one and one in this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour half of it in this one. That got rid of the bubbles, so maybe if I keep just putting it back and forth. Is this working? Yeah, that ought to do it. It's about half and half. Okay, now it's time to put these bad boys in the fridge for three hours and uh, see how they turn out. I will see you guys then. Okay, and this is how they turned out. I got a few hairs in there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see. Hopefully you guys can't, because that's a little gross. It's a good thing I'm not eating this. Now I have to try and carefully get it out. Can I just... Did it work? Nope, it's still here. Oh, it moved a little bit. I think it's working. Yes, so close. Oh, that is dang. I'm pretty happy with this so far. Not bad, that one turned out pretty good. Now for this one. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, now let's freaking recreate this thumbnail. So it looks like they just kind of held it like that. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay guys, so apparently this hack lets you remove tattoos. Uh, these are some tattoos I've gotten over the years. I got a smiley face, I got a peace sign, I got uh, some hearts, and then I got craft. I got this one when I hit 1 million subscribers, wow! If you guys wanna check out that video, you can uh, click right here where I get this tattoo. If not, that's fine. So today, we're gonna be removing one of these tattoos. Now I'm gonna go with this one. This one has the least amount of significance to me. So uh, we just grab our tape and just stick it right on. And supposedly, this will pull off the tattoo. I didn't know it was this simple, otherwise I would have I probably gotten more tattoos. Um, okay, well, here we go. And a one, and a two, and... Oh! What? No tattoo came off. All my hand hair is gone now. But the tattoo still remains. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so here's my hand, here's our leaf, and I guess the first step is to cut off the stem, and then I have to somehow glue this on. I'm gonna try uh, eyelash glue first. This is some really strong stuff. Plus it dries really fast. I think it'll work. Just stick that right on there, and then we trim off the excess. 
<laughs> it's very uh, long and it's very like thin. <laughs> but you know what? It might just work. Then we're gonna get some nail polish. And I really don't wanna use my cutting board for this. So we're just gonna use my desk instead. And now it's time to start painting my nail. Oh no, I got nail polish all over my desk. If you guys haven't caught on, I'm doing this on purpose because this desk is too plain. I miss my old desk. It had so much character. Well, I guess I'll uh, let this bad boy dry and I'll uh, update you when it's done. Okay, guys, and this is how it turned out. I mean, it's not the best um, nail uh, I've ever seen. It definitely doesn't look as good as an acrylic nail. It is, in fact, very flimsy. I would give it a zero out of 10. Would not recommend. So I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't work. You guys, now it's everyone's spent part of the video. Where are we? Give her the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so this is supposed to be after I just stapled my face and now I have a lip ring. Ironically, I already had a lip ring, but it, it kind of grew back in. Well, you can still see the little hole. I couldn't find any of my real lip rings uh, to put into my mouth, so I just stole some of uh, Tori's fake ones. Yeah, a little tiny lip ring and boom. <sighs> It just went through my lip. <gasps> I didn't even have to re-pierce it. Wow. It just went straight through. Maybe I should start wearing a lip ring. Down in the comments down below, uh, let me know if you guys think I should uh, wear my lip ring again. I kind of miss it. Anyway, so that's in there. Just to make it extra crazy, I'm gonna put some in my nose. Maybe another one on the other side. Ooh, dude, I bet Tori would love this. Yeah, those three should do it. And just to make it a little over dramatic, I'm gonna add a little bit of fake blood. Yeah, that ought to do it. One more thing, guys, don't actually pierce your lips with staplers. That's, that's dumb. You shouldn't do that. Just don't pierce anything yourself. That's just really dangerous. Don't be like me. Not that I did that. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Okay, it's time to see whether highlighter will be erased by lemon juice or not. Draw a bunch of highlighter, get some lemon juice, put it on our cotton swab. I'm not sure if it only works with fresh lemon. They used a fresh lemon in theirs, but you know, it's close enough. <gasps> oh my god. That erased right away. Oh, wow. This is magic. This is actually magic. And it turned it blue? Oh, probably because it took some of the ink out of this. But, wow, okay. This is amazing. It actually works. And extremely well. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, uh, we only got 10 minutes left. On to the next one. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna use a very special coin. I bought this from a channel called Crash Course. It's a really good channel, I like it a lot, and they were selling coins where if you bought one, they would donate all the money to kinda like help teach people science and things, and I really like that. So I bought one, $500. Well worth it though, cause I help support 10,000 learners. Fantastic. So now, I'm gonna use this coin as a seal, if I can get it open. Here we go. I'm really hoping that I don't mess up this coin. My little sticky pad that I'm gonna put the hot glue on. I actually have colored hot glue for occasions just like this. I'm gonna use this nice blue color. I'm hoping that it turns out nice, cause if it does, I can just use this on my letters and things. So then we grab our coin and just stick it face down very carefully. Oh God, did I get it stuck? No, okay, it came off. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's very dark though. Maybe it'll lighten up when it cools. Other than that, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. On to the next one. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna need help from a little fluffy friend. Oh, Benjamin! Benjamin! Yeah, good boy! So in case you guys didn't know, this is my dog, Benjamin. He's a really smart guy, and he knows a lot of tricks. Come here. Uh, Benj, can you spin? Can you speak? Sit, whoa! Can you give me a paw? Whoa! That's a good paw! Good job! Okay guys, now this is a trick we've been working on. You ready? Give me a hug, give me a hug. Yeah, give me hugs, give me hugs. Yeah, get your fur right all over me. Oh, Bench, <laughs> you're definitely not motivated by these snacks at all. Well guys, it looks like that one didn't really work, so I guess I'm just gonna have to break out his brush. Oh wow, perfect. Oh uh, yes, there's truly so much dog hair in this coat now. There's so much dog hair. So now we get our balloon, <sighs> deflate it onto our hand, and hopefully this will get all the dog hair right off. Oh, wow. Wow. Actually, my jacket is a lot cleaner right there. Look at all that dog hair. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 
actually works. Okay, guys, shout out to everyone's favorite part of the video where we reveal the thumbnail. Woo! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is an iPhone. Then we get our toothpaste. All I have right now is this uh, Disney princess toothpaste, so I guess this will have to do. And then just, you know, kind of position it. Felt like theirs was at a little bit more of an angle, kind of like, kind of like that. Yeah, that should, that looks about right. Let me fix all these white lights. Oh, I can just Photoshop it out later. I think even a little bit lower. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, this looks about the same angle. We just go ahead and add our toothpaste. And here we go. They had kind of like a little bit of a swirl. So, yeah. Okay guys, so here is our ice cube tray. Here are our dyes. Go ahead and just add water. And then we start making the rainbow using these dyes. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I'm mixing the red and blue together because that makes purple. But if I'm being honest, they kind of all look like the same color right now. And we're gonna go, oh gosh. We're gonna go ahead and uh, mix them up and add the sticks. I'm gonna cut all of them in half as I put them in. There we go. Pretty good. Now let's put it in the freezer and we'll see how they turn out. The next day. Woo! Good morning, guys! So I sort of forgot to take the popsicles out last night to show the intern. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh, wow! These look very nice. I like it. Good morning, intern! That's bright. Am I dead? No, dude! I, Hello, God. I was only gone for like a minute. Robbie, you did it again. Anyway, dude, I figured you might be getting a little bit bored. I swear you're only gonna be here for maybe another hour, okay? I just wanted you to hang out with me and I made you these edible crayons. Here's some paper for you to try them out. Edible crayons? Like watercolor, yo! Whoa! They actually work! I'm like Vincent Van Gogh, ho ho. This is actually pretty cool. And they're edible. Yeah, they're edible, they're completely, how they taste? Oh dude, your tongue is so orange now. Is it really? Yeah. It tastes like water, like there is no flavor. Yeah, pretty much, that's all it is. This is cool, I mean, I'll, it keep me entertained. I like art. I call this one, belongs in the trash. Well, in turn, I'm glad you liked it. Would you say that this one works? Yeah, I'd say that this one works. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna go do my outro now. I'll see you later. What do you mean? Also, you're free to go if you really want to go because I'm done with yes, the video. I'm done. Bye. You're gross. You're disgusting. I'm never coming back. Hey, do you want your watch back? Oh my gosh. Wait, yeah. never mind. Actually, I'm keeping Wait, it. Wait, no, I'll come back if you give me that watch. Really? Yeah, I'll come back if you give me my watch back. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time to have some fun hydro dipping. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill this bad boy with water. It needs to pour faster. We're running out of time. We literally only have about eight minutes left. I don't know if this is gonna work very fast. I'm gonna do my best. And then we just grab some nail polish and just start sprinkling it on the water. Yes. Maybe let's do a little bit of blue. This looks like a good blue. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna go in with our little R and just be very careful. As you can see, I bought it for $1.49, so I don't wanna mess this up. Yeah. turned out pretty cool. Maybe go in another round? Mmm, that was a bad call. But it kind of works. It works for the most part. There's a few little spots where there's no nail polish. But other than that, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Off to the next one. Okay guys, time is running low. So for this one, we have a dry erase marker. It just doesn't work. It's not writing. Look at that. You can see very clearly this is broken. So we're gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna take our string and just tie it. How do they do it? Oh my goodness, I forgot how they did this. Oh, this is how they did it. They just spun it put up. Put the string over it like that. And then they went, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, did that work? We're gonna find out. And still didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. I'll do it for the craft. I'll try and do it a little bit more off to the side this time. The important part of this is that you have one on either side. That way when you twist it together, it starts building up kinetic energy and then when you pull it, it's going to spin! Woo! Okay, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will, okay? No! 
What's sad is I know this method works. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Just spinning it round and round. I think that will do it. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I think this might actually do it. No! What's sad is I've actually made this work before. It basically pushes all the ink to the top of it, but I guess this is too dead that it won't work. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that just because of this one, that it doesn't work. Oh my gosh, I have one minute left. Okay oh, guys, now it's over this favorite part of the video where we reprint the thumbnail! Woo! Well, it looks like it's time for me to awkwardly shave my legs. So it looks like they just did kind of like their upper knee right here. So I guess that's what I'm doing. Dude, this is so, uh, why do I have pimples on my knees? Just make it really patchy, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have some really white legs. Wow. Yeah, I just have like a line going straight down. Yeah, I think uh, that should do it. Let me grab our lemon. Do it. Oh, okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up. It looks like this fire right down there. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications. I upload videos every Friday. If you guys like this video, you guys wanna watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a whole playlist I 